Just like some response to something somebody has asked me about the day before, or if I've seen something that's particularly annoyed me or inspired me the day before, I'll try and create a show around that issue. Uh, this morning, actually, I was doing one based on pensions because somebody said to me, everybody that we speak to about independence, to say, well, what the hell's going to happen to our pensions if we have another indie ref for people? Yes. So that was what the, the show was about this morning, and it was just in response to a, a viewer's question. Social media has the ability to hit people directly, and sometimes in just small groups. Whereas I can actually tailor some of my shows to very, very specific questions that people ask me about, and those viewers can then go away with that information and use it to convert somebody to voting yes instead of voting no. And once that starts to spread, people on social media start to share these things. And if we have everybody sharing publicly, before you know it, you know, one show has been seen 30, 40,000 times. And that multiplication, that uh, fractal sort of uh, broadcasting system, is extremely effective against uh, the pro-British nationalist and mainstream media, which dominates the airwaves and the newspapers were bombarded every single day loads and loads of news. Sometimes it's repeated again and again and again to try and drive the points home to us. So my little show in the morning is a way of trying to counter some of that and trying to push back, particularly at the, the things that people are worried about, to try to give other people who are working for independence the kind of tools and information that they need to convince individual people because if every single one of the independence voters, and there were 1.6 million of them at the last uh, referendum, if 1.6 million people each convince one other person, then you've got over 3 million voters ready to vote yes. And that is a massive majority.